Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm in downtown Laredo, Texas. I picked up a brochure at a visitor center, and one thing it has is it shows where there are 14 different things to see in downtown Laredo. I'm going to show you the book, and then I'm going to go around to each one of them and show them to you, just a little bit of each. This is the booklet, the official visitor's guide. And here is the map. Each one of those orange circles is a different attraction. And all 14 are within about a five block area here. And first on the list is the San Augustine Cathedral. A very white kind of off-white building. Very nicely designed front here. This is what it looks like inside the building. Let's zoom in on the front there. Looks very nice. Then right across the street from the cathedral, this off-white building is called Casa Ortiz. And this is interesting. The book says that its home is rumored to have underground tunnels and gold buried under the property. Wow. And here is the main gate. See what we can see past the gate there. Some artwork. Well, it's pretty much just natural artwork. And attached to that building is the La Posada Hotel and this building here is owned by the hotel as well and right next door to that is the Republic of the Rio Grande Museum. It's not open right now but here's some information that you might want to read And right next to that is another section of the hotel. And next to the hotel is this building that is called the Tack Room. It was built as a private residence and then it was used by the telephone company. And this tells about that. But now it's a bar and grill and you got prime rib <laughs> and this is their temporary hours <laughs> I wonder when the permanent hours start well let's see what else is around here then across the street is the Benavides Vaduri house which is now a store and then this building attached to it is the Lion Decker House, which is now an attorney office. <laughs> then across from that, some more buildings. And this is all around the San Augustine City Square, which is a one block. City Square Park. This is interesting. If you want to read about that. And here's some more interesting info.
And the park has this statue. Kind of hard to see with the shadowing. That is General Ignacio Zaragoza. Next on the list, right across from the parochial school, is the Mulali House that was built for Judge Mulali. And I don't quite know what all this means. Then on the block behind the cathedral is the Judge Jose Maria Rodriguez House, which is now the Border Heritage Museum. This is one reason why I hate going out on Mondays. Museums especially are always closed on Mondays. This used to be the Laredo National Bank, which <laughs> is now Antigua Discotheque. <laughs> a bank turned into a discotheque. Then across the street from the bank slash discotheque is this building, which used to be the city hall which they've now moved to a new modern building. This is a nice old building. And right across from the city hall is the Plaza Theater, which now has a chain link fence out front. And I guess the last show that they showed was La Doce Vida. This is what the book says about it. Next on the books list is the Gonzales Trevino Grocery Store, which I think is all this. After it closed, it became a saloon and gambling hall. Seems to me to be the least significant building on the list. I guess that might have been the main entrance. I'm actually not sure if the grocery store is that building or the one on the other side of the street. Neither one is marked. And here, number 14, the last item on the list. This started off as the Robert E. Lee Hotel. Then it changed to the Plaza Hotel. And another bank, and now it's a PNC bank. And the book is calling this Laredo's First Skyscraper. <laughs> It's nine floors and has a garden on the roof. Now driving around downtown Laredo here, I found all many, many other very interesting buildings that have shut down or have become other stores now. So you drive around downtown, you'll find a lot of interesting things to see in the historic district here. And that is about the only thing I found in Laredo to see. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good day, folks.